Former Vice President Emerson Mnangangwa says he will not return to Zimbabwe until his safety is guaranteed. Mnangangwa released a statement where he stated that he has been in contact with President Mugabe. He says he's been called by President Mugabe to return to Zimbabwe, but would not return until his personal safety is guaranteed. Nangangwa was fired from his government position on November 6th by Mugabe, which analysts say it has led to the massive uprising in Zimbabwe. Former Vice President of Zimbabwe, Emerson Mnangangwa, in a statement said, and I quote, I told the President that I would not return home now until I am satisfied of my personal security because of the manner and treatment given to me upon being fired, end quote. Zimbabwe's President Robert Mugabe has called his cabinet for a meeting today at his state house offices. This was informed by the chief secretary to the president. Today, the ruling party members plan to impeach him by bringing the impeachment motion for debate in parliament. This is the first time the ministers are set to meet for their routine weekly meeting with Mugabe since the military took power on Wednesday. Cabinet meetings are usually held at the Munumutapa building in the center of town, but an armored vehicle and armed soldiers are camped outside the offices. The embattled leader has not resigned as yet. Following the expiry of the resignation deadline, ZANU-PF has initiated impeachment proceedings against Mugabe. Now let's take a look at what the options are if Mugabe does not resign. Well, Parliament is meeting today. The National Assembly and Senate can start proceedings to remove President Mugabe by passing simple majority votes against Mugabe. Once votes are passed, the two chambers must appoint a joint committee to investigate removing the president. After commissions nod, the president can be removed if both houses back it with a two-thirds majority. Meanwhile, the army chief said that the ousted Zimbabwean vice president, Emerson Mnangangwa, is in contact with President Robert Mugabe and will return to the country soon. The army chief also said that the army and Mugabe have reached an agreement. The army also clarified that it has been conducting Operation Restore Legacy and not conducting a coup. Defense and security services are encouraged by new developments which include conduct between the president and the former vice president, comrade Emerson Dambuzo Mnangagwa, who is expected in the country shortly. His excellence and commander-in-chief of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces Comrade Ara Jim Gabe has started processes towards a definitive solution and roadmap for the country. Meetings with His Excellency the President and Commander in Chief of the Zimbabwe Defense Forces, Comrade Robert Gabriel Mgabe, have gone on in an atmosphere of mutual respect, and several guarantees have been made. In a related development, students at the University of Zimbabwe have vowed to shut down the institution for as long as it takes to get President Mugabe removed from office. They demand that the First Lady, Grace Mugabe's doctorate, should be withdrawn. The university had previously given Mugabe's wife a PhD, even though students claim she did not study for one. The students say they will not write exams until Mugabe steps down. ANN7 reporter Audrey Chiwanda joins us on the phone line live from Zimbabwe. Good morning to you, Audrey. Thank you so much for joining us. Can you give us an update regarding the cabinet briefing that's meant to take place at the uh, presidential um, uh, house offices this morning? Do we know what time that meeting is taking place? Hi, good morning to Kerry and, and uh, to our viewers. Three major events happening in Zimbabwe right now that everyone is keeping an eye on. The first one that you mentioned is you mentioned the cabinet meeting called by President Robert Mugabe at the State House. I understand that it has started. Unconfirmed reports at the moment that uh, only enough managed to come up and attend this meeting following a threat, uh, one from Zanuk PF yesterday, to say that any cabinet ministers from Zanuk PF who attend the cabinet meeting will be recalled. Um, also, the, uh, the parliament will be sitting at quarter past two uh, p.m. Central African time today. Um, uh, the parliament from Zanuk PF opposition parties uh, being called to make sure that they attend this historic um, setting where the impeachment of President Robert Mugabe will be happening. Um, the gallery has also been invited to 
be present. Uh, journalists have been invited. The accreditation process has happened. And, uh, of course, no pictures will be allowed, no videos uh, will be allowed at the same time. Also, a protest march is happening, Keo. There's a number of people right now, as we speak, that are gathered outside President Robert Mugabe's private residence that's in Borodell, north of Harare. Um, we believe that the number could grow as the day progresses. But uh, at the, at the uh, well, right now, there's yeah, quite a, a sizable number of people that are outside of his house protesting. This, this protest outside the, uh, the presidential uh, uh, house, is it uh, one that's been organized by the Zimbabwean um, Veterans uh, Association? Oh, absolutely, because yesterday, remember, at the press conference, Chris Mutrango, who happens to be the chairperson um, of the Zimbabwe um, War Veterans, called on all Zimbabweans to come back. Uh, he called it the non-partisan march, just a solidarity action by Zimbabweans coming together, making steps sure that their voices are heard as the biggest stakeholder of the future of Zimbabwe to come together and march to the State House. So definitely, uh, the War Veterans have a huge part in um, making sure that this march happens. Also, we have religious groups that are set up in what is called Africa Unity Square that's right in the heart of Harare CPD um, that have convened there. They are praying um, for the country. Uh, they're having discussions with all walks of life, people from different races. There. Um, also, it's right outside of Parliament. Um, there's some people who are wanting to march right outside of there as soon as the Parliament sitting starts um, in support of the impeachment of President Robert Mugabe. As you can imagine, calls are growing from all sectors um, of, of the country. Been kept down. Um, also, uh, being spurred on by the former Vice President Emerson Mandela, who's given us a statement saying, Look, I'm not. Because what is happening is not between President Robert Mugabe and myself, but this has to do with the country and Zimbabweans who should be allowed to exercise their constitutional freedom and right um, uh, going forward with the call for President Robert Mugabe to step down, whether by impeachment or whether by obviously just the protests that we have been seeing happening in the country. Audrey, thank you so much for that update. We will get back in touch with you throughout the course of the day for more on the Cabinet meeting, possibly, as well as the sitting of Parliament taking place this afternoon. That was our reporter, Audrey Chimwanda, uh, who's joining us from, uh, giving us update, rather, uh, from Harare, Zimbabwe.